Welcome to Salento with Lama, I'm David Mengoli and episode six is going to be full of different things happening. Now the builders have moved out and it's time for the installations of plumbing and electrics to start taking shape. And you know, when you're doing a refurb, some of those elements are the backbone, are all of those things that you don't see, but the right planning at the right time makes a huge difference when it comes to the comfort and also the usage of your property. So let's see what episode six entails. Great to see that work is progressing with the plumbers. So let's see what they're getting up to. Materials have started to arrive. You can see they've got, they're starting to get ready. They're going into the bathroom. It's kind of scary when you see all this pipe work being stretching out. So this is actually going up onto the roof terrace where the heat pump is going to be. And you have the return lines for the cooling system and the return lines for the underfloor eating. So everything going through one place and everything is going to be underground before then the concrete floor that is going to self level the whole house is going to be put down. So very important to get all this groundwork done and finished before then you move on to the next phase, which is the concrete floor, the insulation, the underfloor eating and then the flooring above. And then, and then we have a moment, no, con Salvatore. Davide. Salvatore, Davide, ma e Paolo. E Paolo, con i cornetti, eh? on a building site. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia. Ci pensavo. E pure il caffè. Oh, sì. See, Italians um, take breakfast on site as a very serious matter, so very important to feed your workers um, in this particular case actually they're feeding me because they've gone out and bought the cornetti filled with beautiful patisserie cream and the coffee serve la pausa no? Sì. come no? da che ora che qui? e mezza they've been here since uh, 6 30 in the morning it's uh, about 10 o'clock now so yes it is due uh, a nice break so we're on the roof again. Well, we've been here a few times. And remember, we're on episode six. Don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell. So first of all, we're up here. And just behind me, this is where the heat pump is going to be positioned. Fantastic place because it's a little bit of a lower part of the roof. So it doesn't really take any space away from the rest of the roof terrace, which is going to be a beautiful roof terrace, as you probably have seen in the renders. But so heat pump over there. And what we do have there is all the returns. But also we've got a waste pipe down there and the hot water, cold water, because what a better place to have a shower here on the roof terrace, you know, if you're here sunbathing. But also the plumbing taking care of the kitchen it's here so we've got hot water cold water and a waste pipe so let's go downstairs now and have a look at what's down there so it's great because aircon unit is going up there and it's interesting because the waste or the water that the aircon unit is going to produce will go straight into the waste pipe and so it won't produce any water in that area which is always the best way to do it 
Uh, we can see a little bit of a spaghetti junctions going in different direction here. That's the other aircon units there. But very impressive, really, when you look at the amount of work that needs to be done just to prepare for the manifold that it's going to handle the heating system and the cooling system. So a big manifold is going to go into there behind the wall in a, in a case. And that's going to manage everything. And then you can see pipe going up, servicing another aircon unit on this side, an aircon unit on the other side. And then we're getting into this wonderful bathroom area, which is going to be so large with a double sink there already and a beautiful double shower. Yes, shower on one side, shower on the other. We've got all the plumbing done for the Kazi toilet just there. And what a great way of making everything disappear. Yes, everything is going to disappear there because something special is going to happen to this roof here. And this brings us to the end of episode six. Now, no one said that this was going to be exciting. No, it's very much the opportunity of documenting step by step the refurbishment of an ancient property. Now, so many stages and steps need to be followed in order to then achieve the maximum result and also to bring the property into a really high standard. What can I say? First thing I'll say, subscribe to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, episode six and we'll be moving on to episode seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. In the meantime, stay with us, subscribe to the channel, press the little bell. Thank you very much for the support and stay safe wherever you are.